On the way to the shop, we're gonna grab the first edition of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt. Let's do it. Hey, so we got our first copy, edition number one. Meet you in the craft room. So it's a few days later and I'm back in the craft room. We've got our first issue of the Peter Rabbit Quilt. Um, the Peter Rabbit Quilt is a part works, which means that you subscribe and you either have it sent to your home or you go to your local news agents and collect it. The um, part works number one to number nine are fortnightly and the part works from number 10 to number 90, yes 90, whew, which will probably take about two years to make, um, are weekly issues. Now, in each issue, they give you all the materials that you need to make your um, block for the quilt. They also um, provide you with um, a booklet which goes through all the different skill sets. And you can then make little um, crafty activities along the way to practice those skill sets. So let's unpack it and see what's inside. So first of all there's the packet of fabrics, sewing thread and your needles. There's also a book here which, which teaches you all about the applique and the quilting skills. Wow. That's tough. Okay. So the first block that we're going to make is a Peter Rabbit block. Let's have a look. Okay, so inside we've got... I wonder if I'll need this. This is the Peter Rabbit block that we're going to make first. It shows you step by step how to make the block and the first block um, focuses on the skill of applique and embroidery. So I'm about to tackle the first um, square, which is Peter Rabbit. I've never followed something like this before in a part works. Um, I usually make things that are from my own designs and I don't follow instructions very often. So this could prove to be a bit tricky. I wonder how far I will actually get before I start deviating and doing my own thing. I don't think very far, but let's see how we go. Let's do it. We're going to be tracing them onto the bonder web, which I'm using right here. First of all, it's probably a good idea to tape it into position. So I'm just going to tape it. As you can see, the image is reversed because this is going on the back of our fabric. So we've got um, number three here, which is the inside of the ear. We've also got Peter's head, which we're going to trace now, his ear and his head. All of these features here are going to be embroidered later. So we're not going to be tracing those features. Okay, so we've got his head and both his ear. I'll just mark that in so we know where to pop it. Okay, we've also got his... I think that's part of his um, jacket, number seven. And... 
we've got his other part of his jacket here and I think that's his arm and it says here to trace two of these I'm not sure why yet but I will trace two of these Okay, so this is the um, image on the Bonder web. Now that we've numbered the pieces according to the template, um, leaving a border of no more than 5mm, we're going to cut around each outline. So I'm just going to get the whole piece out. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the head. So we've started ironing on the bonder web onto the main body of the fabric. So there we have it. craft room that's all we've got time for see you in the next installment bye